Good morning. Jesus calls us to be his witnesses of the good that God has done. We are agents of hope and prophets of compassion and peace. Before we begin, let us take a few moments to silently pray for the strength to mission as Jesus commissioned. celebrate the ascension of our Lord in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Once again we acknowledge our sins as we prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We worship you. We praise. We adore you. We glorify you. We give, give you thanks, thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Gladden us with holy joys, Almighty God, and make us rejoice with devout thanksgiving for the ascension of Christ your Son is our exaltation, and where the head has gone before in glory, the body is called to follow in hope. Through our Lord Jesus Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen.
A reading from the Acts of Apostles. In the first book, Theophilus, I dealt with all that Jesus did and taught until the day he was taken up, after giving instructions through the Holy Spirit to the apostles whom he had chosen. He presented himself alive to them by many proofs after he had suffered, appearing to them during 40 days and speaking about the kingdom of God. While meeting with them, he enjoined them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father about what you have heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but in a few days you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. When they had gathered together, they asked him, Lord, are you at this time going to restore the kingdom to Israel? He answered them, It is not for you to know the times of the seasons that the Father has established by his own authority. But you will receive the power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. And they said, Men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking at the sky? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. All you peoples, clap your hands, shout to God with cries of gladness. For the Lord, the Most High, the awesome, the great king over all the earth. God wants his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. God mounts his throne amid shouts of joy, the Lord amid trumpet blasts. Sing praise to God, sing praise. Sing praise to our King, sing praise. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the Lord. For the King of all the earth is God. Sing of praise. God reigns over the nations. God sits upon his holy throne. God mounts his throne to shouts of joy, a blare of trumpets for the A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians, brothers and sisters. May the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation resultant in knowledge of him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope that belongs to his call, what are the riches of glory in his inheritance among the holy ones? And what is surpassing greatness of his power for us to believe? In accord with the exercise of his great might, 
which he worked in Christ, raising him from the dead, seating him at the right hands in heaven, far above every principality, authority, power, and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And he put all things beneath his feet. He gave him as head over all to the church, which is his body, the fullness of the one who fills all things in every way. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. from the conclusion of the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said to his disciples, go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name, they will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. So then the Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, was taken up into heaven and took his seat at the right hand of God. But they went forth and preached everywhere, while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through accompanying signs. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. What I'm about to say, you have already heard many times before. But it's such good news, like you, I can't help repeating it. And sometimes I have to make an emphasis. Thank you. Oh, that's good. It's about God's love, God's forgiveness, God's faithfulness. The love of God is unconditional. There is nothing you and I can ever do or forget to do that will make God stop loving us. God's forgiveness. We say, Lord, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. And it's done. And we heard in our response and in our readings today, the Lord is so faithful, he will never leave us. He will be with us until the end of the age. Just think of it. God loves us, forgives us, and will never leave us. 
Oh, there is one more part to that, and that is that God asks us to love one another unconditionally, just like he loves. And he asks us to forgive one another always, just like he does. And he asks us to be faithful. He won't leave us, and he asks us not to leave him. Pray to him. Talk to him. Spend time with him. What good news. And you and I just heard that we are to go into the whole world and proclaim this good news to every creature. The ascension of the Lord is a powerful reminder to us of how we participate in his human nature as he participated in ours. And so God has raised us humans above the angels, above the archangels, to the right hand of God the Father. That is our destiny. Where the head has gone, the body is called to follow. The Acts of the Apostles uh, tell us about this departure of Jesus. The disciples were disoriented, wouldn't expect anything else. How could they fulfill what Jesus asked them to do? Well, how can you and I fulfill what Jesus asks us to do in our time, in our world? The church has survived now for 20 centuries, at times being attacked by external persecution and also through internal crises without ever deviating from its path. We live in similar conditions as the apostles and are asked to go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel. This is a task far beyond our strength. But Jesus said to them and says to us, I will be with you always until the end of the world. So the spirit of Jesus is now in the midst of humanity, in a secret, invisible, but very effective way. The Spirit of Jesus encourages us to prepare ourselves and through the preparation of ourselves to encourage others by a holy life, a holy life, As we then prepare for our ascent, the day the Lord will welcome us into the kingdom of heaven. You and I can bring this good news so that other people can rejoice when we tell them all about him.
Together we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us bring our prayers and place them before God today. For all members of the church, may we strive to build the kingdom of heaven on earth through our words and actions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That national leaders may be inspired to reach out across national boundaries and welcome the members of God's family seeking to escape from poverty, persecution, and violence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all gathered here may believe that the Holy Spirit is within each of us and live a life of witness of our loving God with compassionate and generous hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering from addiction, may they find healing and hope in Jesus on their way to recovery. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intentions we hold deep in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Nativity of Mary Parish, may we, through continued prayer, experience growth in our parish membership and in our school enrollment. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also remember in our prayers Gertrude Krieger and Linda Brown, who died this past week. Heavenly Father, grant a favorable hearing to all of our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. We offer sacrifice now in supplication, O Lord, to honor the wondrous ascension of your Son, 
Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we too may rise up to the heavenly realms through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. And lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father Almighty and Eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder. Mediator between God and man, judge of the world and Lord of hosts, he ascended, not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Donald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 
Together now we pray the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, kingdom and the power and the glory of God. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. of you joining us from home, please join me in the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Christ has risen, as he said, and will come to wake the dead. Christ will return to set us free. One sacrifice of love, one message for the nations. Jesus suffered, died, and rose, and ascended to the throne. Christ will return to save the world. One gaze we lift above, where love has drawn to heaven. We stand watchful through the night for our King to come in life. Heirs to the glory of the Lamb. Now we think the truth. Christ did arise in triumph. Now he sits upon the throne. God's right hand is he alone. Christ reigns in splendor. One banquet richly set For all God's holy people We will dine in joy and peace And our song will never cease Praising the Lamb upon the throne One shout of joy we raise one voice in exaltation, for in glory Christ is gone, and in hope we now are drawn to one sacrifice of Christ, one sacrifice of Christ.
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who allow those on earth to celebrate divine mysteries, grant, we pray, that Christian hope may draw us onward to where our nature is united with you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, our thanks go out to uh, the Knights of Columbus and our Parish Pastoral Council for helping us with our food drive this weekend. You might have noticed the Echo Truck is in front of Nativity House. And if you did bring foodstuffs, feel free to drop them off. Also, financial contributions are very, very much appreciated. All of you over the years have been so supportive of ECHO and countless other outreach programs here in our city, and we owe you a debt of gratitude. But in a small way, thanks to the Knights and our council members, we'd like to offer you some delicious bratwurst after Mass. And if you didn't have time to bring food stuff, don't worry about it. Just know that you're invited to go over and pick up some delicious food to munch on uh, later, later today. Also, I would like to mention, because of a funeral mass here on Tuesday late in the morning, there will not be a 1210 mass this week. And uh, if some of you here uh, know of others that may be planning to attend, please uh, let them know that uh, because of that mass, we will be rescheduling the intention of that 1210 Mass for a future time. Again, appreciation to all of you who help us prepare the church for the coming week and by leaving your kneeler down, that helps us focus a little more on uh, where we should expend our efforts. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Shall 